Like any Asian mother would, she said, Hey, I'm so glad it's done. I was like, Thank you? And was like, yeah, every time I watch you, I have severe anxiety. And I was like, What? Why? She said, Because I know you're going to mess it up. And I was like, oh, thank you. Oh, so thoughtful because an Asian mom talk, that's a solid A minus. It's an A, right? So, um, she's like, yeah, whenever you go for those high notes, I just snap just like this and all, and just get really tense and I look away. And I was like, you know, it's music, so you hear it. Closing your eyes, it's like, oh, it's like, yeah, I can have this. Just pass this over. I was like, okay. Um, so my mom, she wasn't always the most encouraging of my career as a singer. This is not a real job. And so, you know, she... She had told a few years ago, I was like, so when are you going to get a real job? I was like, wow, well, I, th I think this is a real job. And she's like, but like, people like you? I was like, I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And she was like, why? And she's like, but like, people like know you? I was like, yeah. She was like, are you sure? And as she's saying this, a bus with my face on the side. That's like, not you. That is a Photoshop version of something else. So it's all good though, you know. She's she's come around becoming more supportive, and she uh, she likes coming to my shows now, and she's not as stressed. And it's very offsetting. I, I, I wonder why is this happening, and I I realize that she's becoming more. Uh, American, <laughs> and uh, I try to find the source, the root of this this change, and I realize it's because my brother Eddie recently got married. Yeah. So Eddie recently got married. I have a new sister. Her name is Brittany. She's amazing. She's awesome. She's uh, much smarter than Eddie, probably. <laughs> he definitely married up, and. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's my brother! Oh, that's and so, uh, I, I like her more than I like Eddie. I like their dog more than I like the both of them. It's a beautiful dog. Um, so, my mom, you know, well, here's a catch. She's not Korean, right? And a few years ago, that was a big issue. Because she's like, she's not Korean. Um, like, I don't know, it's like, 2020, who cares, right? Like, love is love. So, uh, um, so, my mom has been trying to become more American. She was like, I want to buy Brittany all these gifts and take her shopping and I'll teach her how to cook Korean food. And I was like, yo, you can buy me the gifts. And like, She's like, no. You know, whatever. But um, the, the extent to which she's becoming more American is a few weeks ago, I'm in Korea, I get a, a text from my mom before I leave for tour. And it starts with, Dear Eric! <laughs> Immediately alarms. <laughs> my mom's been kidnapped or she's been hacked. There are only two options here. Because no Asian mom ever starts a text with, Dear Eric. <laughs> Does not happen. Asian mom texts start with yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it starts. So I was like, "What's going on?" And I continue to read, and the text says, "I am so proud of you." <laughs> okay, what? Like what? And it continues for taking for taking a non-conventional career path. <laughs> Whoa, dude, 
She does not know that word. So, she is kidnapped. This is a ransom note. Like, I FaceTime her to be like, are you alive? Is it you? It was her. Thank God. Nothing bad happened. She became like encouraging and stuff all of a sudden. It was like very weirding me out because, you know, growing up, she was never like that. You know, even when I go on TV, she's like, I'm glad you're finally doing this because you will know how bad you are. <laughs> so again, imagine my surprise when I get this text. So. But she's coming around, she's like, I have, you know, after that landing, she's like, I wanna come back, can I come to the show? I was like, yeah, cool, I like, love you too, thank you. And people are always like, why are you telling this story in the middle of a concert? This talk is going like five minutes too long, I know. But there's a reason, there's a point to it. The reason I tell this story is because it's the, it's the best way for me to describe and give you context on how appreciative I am for each and every one of you for being here tonight at this show. It took me almost nine to ten years to be able to do this massive tour and to be able to sell out this venue in Vancouver. It took me nine to ten years in a country where I didn't really speak the language, I didn't know what was going on, to make it as a singer because I didn't have any other opportunities anywhere else. So, you guys being here is a Hopefully, not only just a good time and a great show and a great experience, but it is a statement from each and every one of you that you are for inclusion and diversity and representation and music. And for that, as an Asian American Southern kid from Atlanta, Georgia, who talks like this sometimes, it means the world to me. So thank you so much for coming. So, before I sing my next song, I just want to say, 10 years, it's flown by. It's been amazing, I'm blessed, I'm thankful, you guys are the best, um, but there are always highs and lows of life, and that's just kind of the way it is. But I just wanted to encourage y'all to check in with yourself and ask yourself, how are you doing? You did it, you doing good, you happy, you healthy, you healthy, you good, you happy? Check in, check in with people around you. And uh, just to have that conversation with yourself, and on that note, this next song is called How Am I Doing? Oh! 